We're here with Justin Rogers, defensive back with the Richmond Spiders. Justin, welcome to CA Football Media Day. Oh, man, thank you for having me. Now, last season, you and Matt McCracken became the first three-time All-America picks in Richmond history. You feel like you can make it four for four this year, and, and how big of a goal is it for you to possibly finish your career maybe as the most decorated player in Spiders history? Uh, I mean, those are good accomplishments, but it's not really things that I really focus on. You know, uh, kind of just uh, stay within myself, stay within my team, you know, and kind of focus on team goals rather than individuals. So right now I'm just, want, you know, I want to win game after game, take it uh, one game after a time and let everything else handle itself, you know. Yeah. Now, in, as a sophomore, you had seven interceptions, 13 pass breakups in 2008, but your numbers dropped a little bit last year, which I assume is guys throwing away from you and not going your way. When, when that happens, do you kind of take that as a compliment or is it frustrating to maybe not to get more chances to make a play? Uh, it's not really frustrating. I mean, you know, it's, I kind of take it for what it is, but I mean, at the same time, we were winning games and that, that's what counts. So, I mean, and my stats really don't reflect, you know, us winning, but at the end of the day, we, we have a W. That's all that matters. Yeah. Do you consider yourself kind of one of the top cover corners in this league and how much pride do you, I assume you're most of the time lining up on the other team's top wide out. How yeah. much of that is a one-on-one -on -one challenge and how much pride do you take in that? Shut yeah, I mean, down. just me being the competitive, you know, the competitor that I am, I mean, I want to go against the other opposing teams, yeah. the top receiver, you know, I want to be considered one of the best in the FCS and the country and everything. Yeah. You know, it's just me being a competitor, you know, you want to, you want to be one of the best and you want to play against the best. So. Yeah. You uh, have also had an outstanding career at Richmond as a kick returner. I think you're only a little over 300 yards away from setting the CA kick return yardage record. Which do you enjoy more, returning kicks or, or playing on the corner? Uh, I like them both, actually, you know, uh, but I kind of see kick returning as a kind of a little relief because, uh, you know, there's so much strenuous things going on as a corner. You, you know, you really have the game plan and the thinking and uh, kind of trying to figure out the other team. But as a kick returner, you know, it's just a relief, you know, catch the ball and, and you know, kind of make something happen. You know, I kind of like the ball in my hands every once in a while, so it gives me a chance to do that. Give me an idea what that's like for people who uh, have never done that. Mm. When uh, you, know, you got the ball in the air and coming down, you got 11 guys charging yeah. full speed down at you. What, yeah. what are you looking at and, and what are you yeah. trying to do on your end? I mean, it's an adrenaline rush for me. I mean, I love doing it. You know, once that ball come off the tee and it's, you know, ro rotating in the air, you can't wait for it to get down because sometimes it seems like it's up there forever. But, I mean, once you get it, I, I don't really look for anything. I kind of uh, look for my keys. You know, we have uh, the set returns and stuff like that. So so I kind of uh, get to where I have to go and then kind of use my athletic ability uh, to make something happen from there. Now you're going to be playing for your third different coach as Coach Scott takes over this season. How have things changed under his leadership and, and, and how is it different maybe than when Coach Clawson or Coach Lund was here? Uh, it hasn't really changed because, I mean, one thing when you get a good, a real good coach that Richmond has been doing, you know, the main objective is to win. So, I mean, you know, last previous two coaches wanted to win. And I know definitely that Coach Scott, you know, he wants to win. He was there when I first when I first uh, came to Richmond and he kind of, he, he the one that got me to Richmond from Louisiana and uh, he recruited me. So, I mean, he's a good guy. He, he, he kind of surrounded himself with a good staff. You know, we're gonna get good coaching and those guys want to win also. So, you know, he wants us to compete. The other coaches want us to compete and we, you know, we want to just get after it and uh, try to win some games. Now, as I talked to Martin about, the Spiders one of the top defensive teams in the nation and have been for the last couple years, but you're the lone returning starter in the secondary. How does your role change this year with so many new faces in the secondary? Uh, I mean, we have a couple of new faces. Uh, we have you know, the guy that plays opposite of me, uh, Tremaine Graham. You know, he, he we kind of consider him a starter. He played a lot. He was, we, you know, had a three-man rotation. And you can ask any guy on the team how highly they feel about him. And uh, we kind of consider him a starter. He's not a new face at all. And uh, he's going to do some good things for us, you know. And uh, at the safety spot, we have, still have experience. We, we don't really, we're not really throwing any guys in there, you know, um, to the Sharks alone by themselves. And what a good thing with us is, you know, we play good team defense. and. You know, uh, we're going to help the guys around us. And, uh, you know, we're going to have a, a fairly not as experienced secondary as we have in the past years. But, I mean, we still have the same overall goal. We're, we have confidence uh, in those guys. And we'll just uh, see what happens when uh, the first game comes. Do you feel like this defensive unit can be just as strong as the ones you've had in the past? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Like like I said, uh, you know, and Martin can kind of vouch for me on this. That I mean, we have some good players.
players that's going to, you know, a lot of people haven't seen because when, when that happens is that you have good players uh, that's playing for you and you have other good players, you know, who have to wait their turn. So, I mean, right now it's these guys' turn. They, they really haven't had time to shine. But, I mean, that's the kind of good, having a good marquee program is that you keep good players coming in. So uh, these guys really haven't had a chance to show anyone. But, I mean, now is their time. And, and a lot of people are going to see that, you know, we still have good players. Before I let you go, you guys are going to be moving into a new on-campus stadium this year. How excited is everybody about that? I mean, everyone's pretty excited because, you know, we really didn't have home games because we always had to travel downtown. But, I mean, everyone's excited because it's right there on campus and we have something to really call our own. So uh, everyone's really looking for that. And uh, come, to, come the first game, the first game in the home stadium, you know, is going to be really exciting. Justin, thanks for joining us. Enjoy Football Media Day. All right, thank you. Can I be chill there for one second?